Right before the age of two, we were noticing some things that were peculiar. Gracie would be off to herself in her own world. Happy birthday to you. A lot of hand movements. Kicking, screaming, spitting, hitting. We would have tantrums pretty much daily. The day-to-day -day life was definitely a struggle. Three months after her second birthday, we received the diagnosis that she was autistic. she was and see where she is now, it's amazing. Uh, I, would, I would just say, I mean, it's a miracle. I got an email one day that said Duke University was doing this study with cord blood stem cells and infusing it with kids with autism to see if it, would, it could help. And right away, I clicked respond, let's do it, it couldn't hurt. We were willing to try anything at that point. They didn't, they, and they did not tell us at all like what they expected it to do, so we really didn't know what to expect. The study tested whether a child's own cord blood would be safe um, in treating autism. Cord blood, which is the baby's blood left over in the placenta or the afterbirth, after a baby's born, contains lots of different kinds of cells. In children with autism, we're relying on a cell that's in cord blood that's called a monocyte. Generally, we saw um, behaviors improve in the children at six months compared to their baseline studies. You turn on the kitchen's table, you put the candle holder on the table, and the candle on the candle holder. We have to do and are doing a placebo controlled randomized trial to really answer the question as to whether the cells are really making a difference or it's something else. We don't know if this therapy will be curative for autism, but I am hopeful that it could be curative in the long run. Before the study, autism affected probably 75% of our day, mm -hmm. and now autism maybe uh, affects 10% of our day. Cooper! Cooper! Was it the stem cells? All we know is that something happened to her. Like, yeah. Whether it was the stem cells or whether it was natural progression or at was this it point. A combination. Yeah. Um, she got better. The tantrums just got way, way better. She became more affectionate. She would um, hug you, kiss you more. Social situations got better. She didn't freak out in the crowd as much. You still see some of the idi small idiosyncrasies. It's still there. It's not a cure, but I think, again, it's supercharged her learning curve. No, I got it. The best compliment is we'll meet new people. We'll bring up the fact that Gracie has autism, and people are shocked. They're like, if you had not told me, I would have never known that your daughter has autism. Like, it's not the forefront of her anymore. Fuzzbird. <laughs> Gracie has changed a lot in these years. She used to um, like not talk, and she used to sometimes kick and fight. But now she doesn't do that anymore. She's very sweet, calm. Um, I feel better. Like I like I like play with my friends, and I just like play with my sister. And... Hey Grace, you're going higher than I am.